You are watching Endeavor TV with the Asus EPC 1018P, um, which costs 900, uh, 409 euros here in Germany. It has the new Atom M450 processor and some other interesting specs which you can read on the site. This is going to be the uh, white version. So this has DDR3, uh, 1 gig RAM inside, 250 GB hard drive, wireless BGNN. Bluetooth 3.0 and USB 3.0 and the 4-cell battery which is actually quite big. So let's check out what's inside the box So in this unboxing video. Um, as I said I have the white version but we will um, check the device itself later. First let's see what's inside here when you buy one. So there is a user's manual which is pretty short but it's enough for standard knowledge. Then we have a general public license because there is ExpressGate software installed there so you don't have to turn on Windows each time you only want to check some website. Then warranty card and a notification for how to upgrade your Asus software under Windows. Then let's see the power supply. It's a standard one by Asus. It has two poles and a blue LED here. Pretty long cable. and. The extra power cable is n nice and light also, so this is only about 150 grams. Then we have a battery, the 4-cell lithium polymer battery, which lasts actually longer than the old lithium-ion um, batteries. This has 4, 000 uh, 6,000 milliamps and 44 watt-hours. It should last more than 10 hours according to ASUS, but we will see in our test on endeavor.com how the battery will last. So then let's check out the uh, netbook itself. It has a nice matte um, top here. It looks a little bit metallic but it's, uh, it's supposed to be white. Then of course an Asus logo and let's see the ports. We have a card reader which only reads SD and MMC cards. Then a, a headphone and microphone, two USB 3.0 ports. Um, this is the network plug-in, 1000 megabits and the power. Um, then on this side we have on the back, you can see if the device is charging or not and what status it is in right now, um, if it's hibernating or off or anything else. Then of course there's a VGA out, USB 2.0 port, a fan, and a Kensington lock on the front there is nothing and on the bottom you have the same design here you can easily access the RAM and even on under the battery there is a SIM card slot but there isn't supposed to be a, um, a WAN module in here so 3G isn't possible with this one but there will be maybe a version where um, you can use it for surfing everywhere so let's Put in the battery. Actually, you can lock it also here on the side, but it's pretty neat in here anyway. And yeah, the battery doesn't stick out on the bottom. And let's see how the Asus 1018 looks from inside. So, as you can see, we have a nice um, alum aluminum um, bottom here. With, with the ASUS keyboard which we already used to from uh, older models small shift buttons but pretty nice um, keys there it's going to be a dream to type on here the space is a bit loud then the touchpad um, got a lot bigger it's multi-touch you can scroll inside or with two fingers or do any other gestures you already know from older netbooks and there is no separate mouse buttons but these feel good anyway, they are not too loud but have a good clicking noise. On the top you can see we have a 0.3 megapixel webcam which can turn on and off here and you can actually hide it also so you don't have to um, be aware of anybody spying you out. And there's a microphone of course here on the top. The speakers are inside the hinge right here and there's some status LEDs for the battery status, um, hard drive wireless and caps lock. Then there is the express gate button here as I already said, wireless and the power button here on the top on the right with an LED. The 10.1 in screen is glossy but we will have to check out when the sun is shining how good you can see it outside but 
in the store it looked pretty nice from the colors. So yeah, this was the Asus EPC 1018P for 400 euros here in Germany. I'm Balash Gar for Endeavor TV and Endeavor.com. Thank you for watching.